Hey everyone, it's Duve. This is my work slash play setup at home. I have a pretty niche situation here where I want to be able to use both monitors, the same keyboard, the same mouse with my desktop PC and my work assigned laptop. I say niche because apparently it's a bit complicated when you want to use two different computers with two different monitors. Because apparently there's a lot of KVM switches out there which makes it pretty easy for you to switch seamlessly with just one monitor. But once you try looking for KVM switches that work with two different monitors, the price doesn't really make sense. So for this video, I kind of just wanted to show the setup that I've been using for the past few years, what I didn't like about it. I want to show how I've improved it recently with a new switch that I've been using and just wanted to highlight still what what's kind of missing with this setup what could be improved further hopefully in the future but yeah let's get started first off i'll show off my old setup for this i just use a simple usb-c hub for, with two hdmi ports this allows my laptop to connect to both monitors with just one usb-c cable the problem comes when i want to use the keyboard so right now, the keyboard is connected to my PC via the black cable, but what if I want to use it with my laptop? For that, I need to use another cable, this red one, connect it to the USB-C hub, and then I have to switch between the black cable or the red cable, depending on which computer I'm using. A bigger problem is the mouse. For this, I really just got a separate mouse and push the other one aside when I'm not using it. So when I want to switch, I get the other mouse and then I have to switch the keyboard cables. Not perfect, but it works. Current setup, I added a USB switch to the mix. It has all the USB ports on one side for your peripherals and then the other side will be the cables that's connected to the two computers. So how do I use them? So this USB-C hub is still important to connect my laptop to the two monitors. So I just plug those HDMI cables in like I did previously and then I can connect those two monitors easily to my laptop via USB-C. For the USB switch, I connect my peripheral switch. So I connected my mouse, my keyboard, and I even connected my microphone to it just because there's quite a few ports in this model specifically. So this first cable goes directly to my desktop, but this second cable, the intended use case is to connect it directly to the laptop like this, but instead we'll connect it to the laptop via the USB-C hub alongside the two HDMI cables. If that was a bit tough to follow, this is a diagram I found from a Reddit post which shows how everything connects together. The only difference is that they also utilize power delivery through the USB-C hub. I don't because the cable for mine is way too short if I want it tucked under my desk. I do use an extension cable, but TLDR, USB-C to USB-C extensions are kind of illegal, it's not compliant, so I'm okay with using it for video and USB, but using it for power sounds dangerous. So I don't have a fancy workaround for charging my laptop, I just charge it like normal people. So in practice, what can I do with this setup? Well, as you can see here now, I have my keyboard, I have my mouse, my microphone, everything is connected to the USB switch, which is then connected to the USB-C hub, which is then finally connected to my work laptop. So here I am working, I'm looking at charts, I'm replying to messages on Teams. I'm working, I'm working, delivering value to my shareholders. And then, oh, would you look at that? It's 5 p.m. It's time to clock off now. I've definitely never clocked off earlier than I'm supposed to because I'm a hardworking professional that never abuses work from home. Please keep work from home forever. But I'm gonna clock off right now. So I'm gonna take my work laptop. I'm gonna unplug the USB-C cable. Boom. I'm gonna press the button on the USB switch. I'm gonna put my work laptop away now. Gone. It's gone. It's the end of the work day. Let's do this away. So now what you see here is everything connected to my desktop PC. I have my keyboard, when I press spacebar, I'm jumping, I can play video games now, I have my mouse, everything is connected, and I also have my microphone connected so that I can talk to my fellow gamers. So that's how easy it is to switch between these two computers thanks to the switch and the USB-C. So that's the benefit of this setup. I can easily switch between those two computers without having to 
unplug and replug my keyboard. I don't have to use a separate mouse. Everything in the switch was pretty seamless. But that example just now also showed you the cons of this setup compared to if you have a dedicated KVM switch. And that problem comes from the display. Imagine I didn't take this off. Okay, imagine I still have both computers connected right now. How can I switch? Okay, I can switch the peripherals. I can switch the keyboard, the mouse, the microphone. I can switch anything connected to the switch between those two, those two computers pretty easily by just pressing one button. But if I want to switch the display, I have to press the actual buttons on the monitors themselves to switch the display from HDMI 1 to HDMI 2, which is what uh, is HDMI 1, for example, is connected to this, HDMI 2 is connected to this. So you have to still change it pretty manually between uh, using the buttons on the monitors. But that's not really a problem for me because, well, I joked just now, but I never really need to switch back and forth so much. It's more so I'm using this at a time. When I'm done with this, I want to be able to switch to this. I use this for a long time. When I'm done, I switch back to this. If I wanted to work more back and forth, a dedicated KVM switch would be useful. But for my use case, this is pretty perfect because when I'm done, I can just take this off, which is what I tend to do anyway. So nothing's connected to this. Everything's still connected to this. And that's my setup. I'm usually not too fussed about cable management, but as you can see here, this is pretty ridiculous. So you do have to take some time cleaning things up a bit. You can buy cable managing stuff from IKEA, but I had some 3M tape lying around, so I just decided to stick everything underneath my desk. And this is what my desk looks like now. Pretty neat and tidy from above, but when you look below, it's um um maybe maybe just don't look below my desk. I didn't show this earlier, but the USB switch that I bought comes with a small extension, which I stuck underneath the desk right here at the front. So I don't actually need to climb down and click the button on the device itself whenever I want to switch the peripheral. So that's my setup. That's my workaround. And thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful or at least a bit slightly interesting. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.